Easter Sunday has never been like this before. The churches are all closed and we're having to explore new ways of celebrating this great Christian festival. It's also an element of fear for many people. And above all, we are, as a country, as a world, looking forward to coming out of this shutdown to a new life the other side when Bishop Wordsworth School can open again and everybody can look forward into the future, building a new normality. The Easter story of resurrection and new life could not be more relevant to this time. Let's hear how St Mark tells it. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James, and Salome, brought spices so that they might go to anoint Jesus' body. Very early on the first day of the week, just after sunrise, they were on their way to the tomb, and they asked each other, Who will roll the stone away from the entrance to the tomb? But when they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had been rolled away. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. Don't be alarmed, he said. You're looking for Jesus, the Nazarene, who was crucified. He has risen. He's not here. See the place where they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter. He is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. Trembling and bewildered, the women went out and fled the tomb. They said nothing to anyone because they were afraid. This is where the story of Jesus becomes extraordinary. A Jew being crucified by the Romans because he was seen as potentially troublesome was simply routine at the time. Unsurprisingly, the death of Jesus left his disciples lost, confused and fearful for the future. But all that changed with this news from the women who went to the tomb. Whatever happened, in that resurrection event, it transformed this small group of frightened Jews into people who, to no apparent benefit and considerable cost to themselves, travelled around telling of Jesus' life, teaching and his resurrection. And people's lives were changed as a result. In the midst of defeat and despair, the news of the resurrection turned lots of things upside down. In some mysterious way, this apparent defeat of the crucifixion was actually a victory, a way for us to understand life, death and the universe in a new and clearer way. And there's also that even more profound mystery, the resurrection that followed. Whatever you choose to make of the historicity of the bodily resurrection, there's no doubt that Jesus' message certainly did not stop at the tomb, but spread out and eventually on to transform the entire world. So at the heart of the Christian story, symbolised in that central image of Christianity, the cross, is death, apparent failure, defeated and frightened followers. But with that message is also the resurrection central to Christianity, hope in the midst of despair. Common images to help us grasp the mystery of the resurrection are butterfly from caterpillar, of green shoots from dead seed in the ground. This message of the resurrection is one which can bring hope for the future and sustain us through these dark times of uncertainty and fear as we face the impact of COVID-19. Let us pray. Lord of all life and power, 
who through the mighty resurrection of your son overcame the old order of sin and death to make all things new in him. Grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen.